Hey guys, welcome back to Emlyn in the Mix. My name's Emlyn, I'm a professional musician. Today we're going to be showing you Native Instruments Super 8 Soft Synth. It is freaking awesome. Let's just get straight into it. What's it all about? You're on Emlyn in the Mix. <laughs> Alright gangsters, so here it is in all of its glory, the Super 8 Soft Synth from Native Instruments. It's playable in the Reactor 6 player, really freaking awesome, I had a little play with this yesterday and I've actually really enjoyed the ease of use and I'm going to go over how easy it is to use. Alright, so I've got my Native Instruments S49 keyboard here, we're going to play it back. Um, this is just on the first preset circuit, so let's just have a listen to it to start off with. They might think, oh, that sounds really fat and dope, it sounds like a mono synth, but no, wait, there's more. It's actually playing poly, which is really nice. It's a poly synth, Super 8, that being two oscillators with four waves per oscillator, essentially making it eight voices. Um, I mean, obviously not every preset's going to be poly like that. There are some mono presets as well, but I just want to point that it's pretty cool because when I first heard this preset, I was like, oh, that's definitely mono synth. But then I started playing and... Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> can play chords and so forth. Alright, let's go through each section here on the Super 8 and hopefully you can see it okay on the screen there. So on the left here you've got your oscillator 1 and on the right you've got your oscillator 2. Okay, so um, you can see this round knob here in the middle. That's actually a mixer between your oscillators. So if I drag that to the middle, it should essentially be able to hear both oscillators. Alright, so that's playing basically mixed in the middle there with both oscillators. You can actually change the amp of each uh, wave inside the oscillator. And pull up there as a square wave there. And then you can change the shape of the, uh, of the wave as well. So I've got a sine wave here on the very far left. And if I just uh, pull this knob up here, just below that, you can see the sine wave um, starts turning a bit dirty. It looks a bit more like a white noise wave. Uh, if we do that to the triangle, turn the triangle right up, turn that square down. And you're also getting some, getting some changes to that wave um, there. And it's obviously going to give us a different sound again. We can do it to this square here. We can um, totally change the way that wave sounds. You can have all four up like that on oscillator one. Just play oscillator one, mix it back with oscillator two. And then you can actually change the fourth voice to white noise by clicking this button here. So you're going to get a slight white noise. just a nice um, little addition being able to add white noise. Uh, you can also change your pitch here. And then you can fine tune your pitch as well. By up to 50 cents. Um, 50 cent y'all. Now this little button under the mixer here allows you to sync uh, your oscillators. And the knob just under the sync button here is your pitch modulation. So you can get some really funky stuff, we can put white noise on both oscillators. can make it really fat, have oscillator 2, down 2 octaves, we can't really hear it. Alright, this preset's starting to sound pretty funky, uh, let's just reset it here. There we go, back to, this is how it originally sounded. Moving along here, you've got your filter. Very nice sounding filter, and I think they've also, um, Native Instruments, 
just by default, your modulation wheel should control the filter. Let's just check that out. Yeah, it does. Um, then your bog standard, you got your resonance here as well. And then obviously you can change the way your filter behaves by high pass, low pass, band pass, and high pass there, low pass. Classic, classic old school synthesis dudes. All right, and then on the far right of that, you got your amplitude, which is pretty self-explanatory, just your volume up and down. Now going down here, you've got your options for your pitch modulation, which we played with before where you got like a master pitch mod up here. Modulation 1, Modulation 2 are down here. Filter Envelope and Amp Envelope. Extending our release and so forth. Then below that you've got your Output and Effects. So that's it, it's so easy. I mean, if you're just starting out in Synthesis, this is a great way to learn because everything's just there and everything's tweakable. Um, the effects section's really nice. Uh, you can turn it on just simply by clicking the on button here. There's some chorus, for example. Flanger. And you can obviously change the rate and the amount just here. Delay. The delay is actually really nice and really wet. Um, and again, you can dial it right in, dial the feedback in so it's never ending. You know, just the usual, the usual stuff you could do with the delay. The reverb I found was really nice, really lush. really wet and then you've got different um, sizes you got galactic small but you get overall you get the general idea of just how easy it is to dial in the way you want something to sound but that's basically it really super simple super a analog soft synth it plays in the react 6 player Definitely check it out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've tried to make it really quick and easy for you guys to actually just see how simple it is to actually dial in. I know we didn't create really any presets, but you can do that, of course, and save your presets. Um, but if you wanted to learn about analog synthesis, this is a fantastic way. Super easy. I know I've said that before, especially on hardware such as like the Korg Minilog XC, which I've reviewed before. Um, again, this is something which is so simple. I like that they're making it more simple and less complicated. Um, I think the more complicated you make an instrument, the less people want to play or want to learn about that instrument and then that instrument just simply gets forgotten about. But I'm really loving the renaissance going on right now uh, in the analog era. It's absolutely fantastic to see and this is a great rendition. Well done to the team at Native Instruments. Alright guys, well thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, Make sure to hit that like button below, subscribe to the channel, and you know what to do till next time, guys. Peace out.